When I was a little boy, my mom always told me, Richard, do not tell lies. Honesty is the best policy. Dear fellow Toastmasters, do you agree with the statement that honesty is the best policy? Yes. I agree. I totally agree. So, there was a time when I was about five years old. My mom and I went into a swimming pool together. And there is a board indicating that for those who are under 130 centimeters tall, they can swim for free. And I was 130.5 centimeters tall. Anyway, all being natural, my mom and I just went into the swimming pool together. However, she's only holding one ticket in her hand. Mommy, mommy, why? I don't need to buy the ticket. Ah, Richard, you forget your height. You are only 122 centimeters tall. You don't need to buy the ticket lah. No, I'm already 130.5 centimeters tall. I need to pay. No pay, no gain. <laughs> My mom was forced to buy the tickets and I was beaten at the night. <laughs> Honesty is the best policy, huh? Another time, while my father was driving on the road, there was a policeman pulling over. Hey, come on here. Can you explain why you drive so fast? You're supposed to be driving below the speed of 80. <laughs> ah, sorry, officer. It, it must be a mistake, you know. Um, uh, I, I always drive below the speed of 60. Right, son? Oh, daddy, but you always tell me life will begin from the speed of 100. <laughs> you never drive below 100. Mm, great, I love your son. <laughs> and sir, can you explain why you didn't fasten your seatbelt? Oh, sorry, officer, it's a mistake again. You know, um, I just ate the lunchbox with my son a few minutes ago. And we feel too full, yeah, too full. So we just lose it for a while, right, son? Huh, daddy? But you always say that seatbelt is the most foolish invention in the world. <laughs> you even swear you won't wear it in your whole life. <laughs> Honesty is supposed to be the best policy. How come I was beaten again at the night? Later, then when I grew mature, about the age of 20, I started to chase some girls. Will you be my girlfriend? Though you are not as cute as the singer called Yao Yao, but I can accept it up. What? And how about you? You are not as handsome as Tom 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 Cruise. Go away! Why? I always failed. There's supposed to be no line between my girlfriend and me. Fortunately, there was one girl that can accept me. However, there seem to have been some communication problems between my girlfriend and me. Honey, where are you now? I miss you so much. You miss me, but I don't miss you at all. Well, where I am I? I'm in the Toastmasters Fall Conference and surrounded by lots of beautiful girls, especially the one called Joyce Tai. <laughs> what? And you go to date with that Joy, 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 Joyce Tai? Let's break up! Honey, how much? How much do you love me? Well, since I'm coming from the Department of Mathematics, I think the score I love you is about my height. What? But you are only 160 centimeters tall, so short. Let's break up. <laughs> Honey, since I'm your girlfriend, let me ask you a question that sooner or later you will face. If your mother and I 
accidentally drop into the ocean, who will you save first? <laughs> of course, my mom. I only have one mother in the world. What? You mean you have two girlfriends? <laughs> so let's break up now. Things begin to go wrong. I try to retroflex my life. Why do I need to tell lies? Maybe I can be honest. And then, why I need to be so honest? If I had told lies, maybe I can save some money for my mom. If I had told lies, maybe I can save some money for my dad. If I had told lies, maybe I can fix the relationship between my girlfriend and me. So I pick my phone in no hesitation and dial to my girlfriend. What? You really want to break up with me? No, darling. I think you are the apple of my eye. Oh, really? So where are you now? I'm always in your heart. <laughs> I will love you until the rocks break into pieces and the water of the sea evaporated into space. I love you forever. I love you too. <laughs> Honesty is not always the best of policy. Sometimes lying is necessary. And lies can add some spices to our life and make our life become more interesting. So, dear Toastmasters, what do you think about today's speech? Do you think it's an interesting one? Yes! Great! You all know that honesty is not always the best policy. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>